as you all perhaps notice, the new earth is happening. It's very exciting. It is occurring. This new collective timeline is expressing new ways in which to express the potential of humanity. And so you are all part of this, otherwise you would not be here at this time in this form, part of this collective. And things are changing and things are changing fast and they'll continue to change faster and faster. And the fact that it changes faster and faster will start to change faster and faster. Exponential acceleration. So if you think things changed a lot in the past year, then either be very excited or be very afraid. <laughs> be very, very afraid, which is the same thing. Just a different spin on it. Same energy. <sighs> What's going to happen? Or <sighs> What's going to happen? It's the same exact force. It's the force that connects you to feeling the reality of experience. You can either define that positively, anticipate it with excitement, tune into that to the best of your ability, or you can run away from it, believing that it means something negative or lack could occur. In a lackless state, acceleration is always exciting. If a change that's coming on does not excite you, you have lingering old ideas that no longer serve you that want to be pushed to the surface, hence you feel a little contraction at the sight of your new life unfolding or your new relationship unfolding or your new relationship breaking down or your new career breaking down or your career unfolding, etc. All these changes that start happening faster and faster, just go with it. Easier said than done. It's not that much easier said than done because when you say it, it's done. The word is the power in this world. Then there was the word. The word commands commands creation, commands the way it operates. So by the word, I mean, you're not just verbally, although that's a powerful entrance point as well for most human beings, it's sort of an entrance point. But the word in my experience is simply what I sometimes call concepts or conceptual navigation, which is not concepts on sort of that little lower mind level, but it's concept. A concept is a frequency. It's like a package of information, a package of frequency that can either direct you there or there. So when I navigate or when I say that I think a lot or my mental body is actually very, very active, unlike contrary belief about being awakened, is actually very active, more active than it ever was. It's because it is infused with conceptual navigation which means it no longer really thinks in words, it sees realities and then it navigates in these directions. It sees these packages of information, no longer one word at a time, but a whole, at the whole essence of the whole story is immediately extracted from it and offered in a sense to my mental complex. And so I'm able to navigate in a very fluid, non-physical, inseparable way. So when I say the word, I mean the concept, I mean the intention, I mean the vibrational definition about what's always neutral and empty, which is the configurations of energy. They are essentially neutral. So how I define my reality will command that reality. So it is not easier said than done. In fact, saying it and doing it are the same thing. So it's as effortlessly done as it is said, but are you saying it? Are you saying what you want to be saying? If not, why not? No one's holding you back except the other people in your mind, but they are very much in your mind. Other people exist in your mind. In fact, your mind on that sort of wordy level, not so much the clear transparent level, but the more wordy conditioned level, if you will, of ideas that you picked up along the way, your, let's just call it lower mind in that sense, consists of other people. Guess who's not there? The only person missing from your lower mind is you. In other words, everything you think on automatic pilot is somebody else thinking for you. You've simply created a copy of them and now automatically apply that to the energy that's in front of you. The only person missing from that equation is yourself. So when you embody more of your true self, you'll see that you start quote unquote transcending your lower mind more and more or it becomes more empty and transparent and naturally transformed or altered according to your alignment. So if you want to look for advice as to how to navigate through life, then I have one suggestion for you, which is don't listen to your automatic mind because you're not there. Everyone else is there, but then you're just creating a combination of other people's lives, which you've done for many years. You've explored 
And you know it's not that much fun. Unless or until something genuine starts pouring down on you, opening up and making courageous choices. Often when we feel like, yes, I really transcended myself in that moment and made a courageous choice, I just went for it. I was really bossy. That's often when we have reconnected to our higher selves beyond the lower mind. And then from that place are inspired and know because that energy transmits lacklessness. And so we tap into a true reality of confidence, of doubtlessness. And from that state, we were able to make a decision. And then usually very soon after, it's like, what did I do? What have I done? Was that not an integrity? How am I going to get my finances straightened out? What will people think of me? Is my family still going to love me? All that, all that thought, all that lower conceptual thinking rather than higher conceptual navigational assimilating and thinking. Does that make sense? Good. Excellent.